book on Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Long Haul. I recommend this to anyone who likes kind of long and short books. It's not super long, it's only 217 pages. But it's funny, and there's a lot of weird parts in it. My favorite part was on page 29, is where they mistake the, the Greg instead of the dog. Um, I'll read a little bit of it. I feel like my visit to the vet was pay my the vet was payback for a whoopie pie incident, especially when the nurse weighed me on the same scale that they use for dogs, doggy pounds. The nurse took my temperature too. I had my whole thermometer under my tongue for 30 seconds. When I got back to the waiting area, Roger told me that when I take my take an animal's temperature, they stick their thermometer thermometer somewhere else and they probably use that same one for all their patients. I like that part because it was funny and it made me laugh the first time I read it, but now since I read it over and over again, it's, I don't find it that funny anymore. My least favorite part was on page 70, 179. This part's kind of boring. There wasn't a lot of fun, fun parts to it. I'll read a little bit from it. That meant someone had found our key and stole all our stuff. Then I thought for another possibility, when the bureaus took our last year, they must have taken our key too. I decided to tell mom and dad about the bureaus and how they properly stole our stuff to, to get some payback on me. Then I took them to the area where I lost, last saw them sitting. That was my least favorite part because it was kind of boring and there wasn't a lot to it. Um, a little bit about the author. He's the number one New York best-selling book for all his books. Mm -hmm. He's a four-time Nickelodeon Kiss Choice Awards for, I think it was in 2002, 2007, 2010, and then 2014. He lives in... England right now since 1995. He moved there from Washington, D.C. He grew up there and was born there. I, read, I think I ran a page and read a bit, so you, I'll read the beginning so you guys know a little bit. If there was one thing I learned from my years of being a kid, is that you have zero control over your own life. Ever since school let out, I haven't had anything I needed to do or anywhere. I needed. I've needed to be. As long as I had air conditioning, was working. I had TV remote, had batteries in it. I was set for a relaxing summer vacation. But then this came out of blue. This happened. Pack your bags. We're going on a road trip. Uh, I'm gonna do a quiz to make sure you guys are paying attention. If it's about the book, I'll know all about it because I already read the whole thing. Oh yeah, wait. he got inspired by this book because he's seen a family going to Disney World, and he was going there too, and it looked like they were having a rough time, and there was three kids, a mom and a dad, and they were listening to some weird Spanish music. It says, pick there. And so, here's a quiz. How, how many awards has Jeff Kenny won? Curtis. Eight. Let me know. Let you see you. Yeah, here I go. Uh, how did he get inspired to write his books? Uh, by a family that was going to Disney World and they were listening to some wood Spanish music. Uh, here's a fun Here's something else I didn't really mention. How did, I mean, what year did um, Jeff Kinney move to England? How much it? 2001. Eh. Scissor. 1995? Right. I was about to say 1994, but it's personal. And that's it.